Hello everyone, welcome again to a new topic, activity-based costing. Alongside this, we will take a look on traditional absorption costing. What is activity-based costing? It's just a modern absorption costing system where overheads are classified into activities and then absorbed to products. So the cost of these activities are absorbed into cost units, e.g. products or services using factors driving them. What are these factors? These factors are termed as cost drivers. So cost drivers are factors that determine the cost of activities. Note that activities are also referred to as cost pools. So these terms are used interchangeably. Why ABC? Reasons for the development of ABC. In the current era, unlike in the past, where labor was very in intensive in production, today, uh, Machines are being used to a much larger extent, prompting the decrease of labor and the increase in overhead. So, this uh, has called for a better recovery of overheads. Also, the diversity and complexity of products, which has, is happening in a highly competitive environment, uh, has led to the use of a better method of recovering overheads to products so as to avoid being beaten by competitors. An additional tradition of absorption costing was developed in a time where products underwent similar operations and so overheads consumed or were consumed in similar proportions to products. Steps in ABC all we have to compute here is an overhead absorption rate. So you determine your activities. After determining activities, you allocate and apportion costs into activities. Just because initially you'll be having overhead sales on rent. Uh, you have you will be having uh, maybe a depreciation of a building so you'll apportion and allocate them into activities after having your activities with their costs we'll identify factors that determine the cost of such activities and these are known as cost drivers then we are all set to go so computer absorption rate per unit of cost driver for we for each cost pool or for each activity after having our wide absorption rate, then we charge overheads to products or services using each activity. This is our example AB Limited. Two products are being produced, P and D. The direct costs $18, $24. And the following information is given. Cost pool or activity alongside the cost drivers. Note that other overheads don't have a cost driver. So this must be given uh, in other information. But the total cost from here is $360,000. So if you go to the next section, we are given further information and they are also told here that other overheads do not have an identifiable cost driver, but I will recover them under ABC using direct labor hours. So the remaining cost will be recovered on direct labor hours. You are told to prepare production cost per unit using the traditional absorption costing as well as activity-based costing approach and to comment on the difference between costs. So we go next, go to the next page, and we have a solution here. So let's start with the traditional absorption costing system. Traditional absorption costing, products P and Q, then D, in dollars, we have a direct cost 18 and 24. Then we have overheads 19 and 60. How do we obtain this? We have to see how to obtain them. Now, we were told that an absorption costing system, overheads are absorbed on a direct labor hour basis. So we have to determine the total direct labor hours. How much? How much is the total direct labor hours? So we have to go and check for this. We are given direct labor hours per unit, 3 here. And your production, 2,000. So total hours for P is 3 times 2,000 and for D is 2 times 3,000. So we go back to our solution. So we had our solution here, traditional overheads. We had we are computing now overhead absorption rate. How do you obtain it? We said we total overhead divided by total labor hours, but total hours were three times two thousand plus 
Half per unit for product D times unit produce 3000 and you obtain a total of 12,000 hours. So to, opt to compute the overhead absorption rate, we compute overhead absorption rate equals to total overhead which was $360,000 divided by 12,000 hours and you obtain $30,000 per hour. So each hour we absorb $30,000. Then you determine the cost per unit. Actually, it's the overhead cost per unit. So cost per unit will be equal to the overhead absorption rate, which is in dollars per hour. You will multiply by hours over units of a product. But fortunately, we are also given this ratio, hours per unit, so no problem. So for product P, hours per unit is 3, and for product D, it's 2. So to obtain the cost, it becomes much easier. For P, we take overhead absorption rate 30 times 3, which is 90 per unit and for D 30 times 2 60 per unit so this is what was arrived at our question above here 90 then 60 then after having this you obtain the total cost of the product the so total unit cost be 18 plus 91 or 8 24 plus 60 84 and we are done with traditional absorption costing system and so we proceed with the activity-based costing system. Activity-based costing, we have the same products, P and Q, in dollars. Then we have the direct cost per unit, which is 18 and 24, no problem with that. Right now, we have to compute overheads are for each product. We compute overheads for each product. Now, overheads here was divided into several activities. The first activity was set up, so we have to determine this cost. How did you obtain this cost per unit on setup costs? So, we go to our question. Yeah, here. Yeah. Setup costs. Okay, setup costs seven two thousand. Number of setups. So, we have, so the cost driver here is number of setups. So, we have to take seven two thousand divided by the total number of setups. How do you obtain the total number of setups? You look at the information given. Uh, number of setups where we are given number of setups per batch. So a single batch are the setups for product P one and for product D there are four setups per batch but you need the total number of setups. We are given number of batches so total number of setups for P is one times twenty five plus four times two hundred. Now go we are down dealing with setup cost. This is the setup cost. Then first of all we have to determine the overhead absorption rate, which is setup cost divided by total number of setups. Uh, as you have seen, top 10 total number of setups take 1 times 10 to 5 plus 4 times 200, 4 setups per batch, 200 number of batches, and they obtain a total of 825. So, total number of setups for product P is 25, for product D is 800, 800 and total is 825. So, we determine our overhead absorption rate. So overhead absorption rate equals $72,000 divided by $825 and you obtain $87.273 per setup. And now, we compute the cost per unit. The cost per unit will be equal to overhead absorption rate in dollars per setup times number of setups over units of a product because setup and setup will cancel here. Setup and setup will cancel, then we remain with dollars per unit. So we multiply there at 7.27 multiplied by number of setups for P was 25, total units produced of P was 2000. So we divide and get this figure. Then similarly for product D, at 7.27 times 800 is the number of setups here. Divided by total production units, 3,000. Actually, it's here. I see it here. 3,000 here. Total production units of product D. And you obtain the cost per unit. We go next. Material handling. So you compute cost per unit of material handling for each product. How do you obtain this? We have to go to our question and look for what we are being asked. Here, material handling. Cost drive by the number of batches and the cost is $63,000. So, we'll take this cost, material and cost, divided by the total number of batches. 
And how much will it be? Let's compute the total number of batches. Total number of batches. Number of batches for P is 25 and for D is 200. So total number of batches is 225. So we go to the computation, the overhead absorption, and the look at our cost. That is material handling. Material handling cost. Overhead absorption rate, material handling cost divided by number of batches. It was 63,000, number of batches, 25 plus 200, and you obtain 280 per batch. Then, you compute cost per unit, which will be overhead absorption rate, in dollars per batch times. This is per batch, so number of batches of a number of units of a product. And so for P, we'll be having 280 times number of batches, which is 25 divided by units of a product of a here it is P, 2000, and you obtain this figure here. The same one we will apply for product D to 80 times number of batches 200 here divided by total production units 3000, and you obtain this figure. So we'll be having cost per unit here, and we go to plug them uh, in our. materials here 3.5 18.67 then we go next order handling cost how do you obtain the order handling cost so we go back to the orders so we just take ordering co order, order handling cost which is $25,000 divided by total number of orders to obtain total number of orders number of orders product P 30 product D 220 so we add them together and you obtain 250 so to obtain the overhead absorption rate, we go to so order handling. This was the overhead absorption rate. That was order handling of a total number of orders. So 25,000 divided by 30 plus 220, which equals to $100 per order. So to obtain the cost per unit, we take the overhead absorption rate, which is dollars per order, times orders per unit. But we are given orders per unit. So we take total orders for, for a product or total units for a product. So for product P, it is 100 times 30, 30 here number of orders, divided by production which is 2000, we obtain that figure 1.5 dollars, and the same for product D, in this times 220, over 3000, and we obtain 7.33 dollars per unit. We go and plug this into our solution. here and lastly we finish up with other overheads how did we obtain this 50.01 and 33.34 so we got the information given other overheads cost driver was not given but we are told that we will absorb overheads on direct labor her basis so the cost is 200,000 we divide by total labor hours. Fortunately, uh, in working one, we compute the total direct labor hours. So we just go there directly. Here, total direct labor hours amounted to 12,000 hours, and hours per unit for P was 3 and for D was 2. So we go directly and compute the overhead cost for unit per unit for other overheads how much will it be other overheads here so overhead absorption rate equals to other overhead cost divided by total labor hours so 200,000 divided by 12,000 hours is 16.67 dollars per hour cost per unit will be equal to overhead absorption rate in dollars per hour times hours per unit but Fortunately, we are given hours per unit already, so it's just a matter of multiplying. So for product P, we take the rate, we multiply by 3, we obtain the cost per unit. And for product D, we take the rate 16.67 times 2, which equals to $33.34 per unit. So that's how we compute it. Now, before checking these explanations, we just have to go back to our question number here. So we have other overheads, 50.01, 33.34. And so we sum the overheads, this plus this plus this plus this, and we obtain 56.10. The same applies to these overheads here. 
we sum them and we obtain this figure here. After that, we compute the total product cost by adding direct cost to indirect cost, which are overheads. And we obtain here 74.10 and here 106.61. So this is how we determine the activity price costing cost of products and the traditional absorption costing cost of products. If you analyze these two, traditional has a 108 cost on P while activity based costing is 74.10 and since uh, the activity based costing is considered a superior method we, we, we have to consider that we, we over cost this product P under traditional absorption costing and here for product T the cost of, of T equals to $84 while the cost of D here under ABC equals to 106 that means we under cost this figure product D the difference in costs between methods is due to the different basis of recovering overhead to products, as we saw. Under traditional absorption costs, we used only labor hours, while under ABC, we used a lot, lot of cost drivers. So ABC is considered to be superior as it allocates overheads in a less arbitrary manner and considers both production volume and non-production volume cost drivers where factors leading to costs being incurred on activities are used to, to compute but abc has got its own weakness because the way costs are positioned to the activity to the activities is also arbitrary so uh, it's not uh, a perfect method but also an activity may have two or more cost drivers and which one would you use has become the dilemma. Also, preparing and using an ABC system may not be cost beneficial. The last, it is difficult to operate unlike the traditional absorption costing system. That's all uh, for our topic. So, always come explore and exploit the resources in here. You are always welcome to this channel.